Alright, so today we're going to do the socket class for Java. And this is NetBeans IDE 6.7. A little outdated now, but it works. So just do the imports java.io.asterisk, java.net.asterisk. If you want to get specific, the classes we are going to be using are socket, buffered reader, and print stream. Those three are going to be used to communicate between the server and the client and there's two different files here so let's start on the client class file and these are two separate programs they don't run together they don't call each other for anything they're two separate programs that are running so let's make a socket right here equals new socket and these are constructors right here socket parentheses it's a new object with a constructor and in that constructor we're gonna put the IP and the port the IP goes in string and the port goes in int so you can put an external IP here of course but since I'm doing this locally in my own network I'm gonna put localhost that'll be the IP so don't get confused there I can put my real IP but then it's static and I don't want everyone knowing my IP so localhost there and basically what we're gonna do is connect to this socket which is localhost on port 9999 and we can do anything so in this case we're gonna send it a string that says hello server and how do we do that we do a print stream so let's do a print stream create a print stream class and within that print stream we create a constructor alright and what this does is create a print stream object and the constructor for this is from the MySocket. So you're actually going to MySocket and getting the output stream. The get output stream is a method. All it does is return the output stream and puts it into this variable myps, which is a print stream in this case. So now let's print something. and we'll do hello server okay let's try to run this see what happens okay and as you notice it erred because there's no server to receive or do anything with the information you sent the information in this case was hello server alright so wait up let me go back and overview this you created a socket my skt is the variable name through localhost on port 9999 so you're connecting to localhost port 9999 creating a print stream which prints the following hello server string okay let's go to the server class file which is a separate program remember that please and all we gotta do is create a socket that waits for something to be sent for it so we can't use a regular socket in this case so let's do a server socket and that's exactly what it does it's a service socket it waits my service socket my ss equals new service socket and in this parameter constructor right here we're gonna put the port and what this does is makes a service socket that waits for something to happen on port 9999 and guess what we sent something through port 999 so there's gonna be an exchange right there and all it does it's w is it waits on port 999 to see what happens and then when something does happen what do we want to do we want to accept the information that's being sent so what do we do we make a socket SS accept my ss dot accept 
and you're accepting the request from the service socket alright so now once we got that done everything's running now we want to read the information that's being sent so we use the buffered reader equals new buffered reader right it's gonna be a parameter there this parameter is pretty confusing if you're new to it so I suggest you look over some class documentations on the Java website I'll have that on the the um description at the video so you can get that go there and look up anything you want and um now we're just gonna create a new input stream reader so you're making an object within an object and what you want to do is go to the socket and grab the input stream kinda went off screen there, there we go it's gonna be hard to read since I don't have enough room to show you oh I forgot a name there, how could I forget that let's put SS BF. All right. So now we got that done. So let's overview. Buffered reader SSBF equals new buffer reader. And then within that constructor, you're creating a new input stream here, which takes from the socket. In this case, SS underscore accept dot get input stream. So you're taking the input stream of the socket and putting it in the object input stream reader which is put into the object buffered reader which is assigned to the variable ss underscore bf very confusing you might want to look up buffered reader documentation input stream reader documentation and from there create a string it can be called anything let's call it temporary temp equals ss underscore bf so there you go you read it now you just want to display it to the user whoops oh my god alright let's try to see what happens right now Let's put server up. 